Hi students, uh, you have selected the golf unit and today we're going to talk about putting. Right here in my hand I have my own putter. Um, the goal for today is to learn how to putt properly, you learning technique, and then in task two we will do a speed and line drill. Um, to start off, we're going to do some anatomy of the putter. Right here is called the grip and the part that attaches the club head, which is down here, to the grip is the shaft. So most, most putters will be set up like this. Um, different looks and feels of things will happen among other putters, but for the most part, this is your basic setup. Um, so we're gonna start off with technique and how to grip the putter. How I always do it and teach it is you grip the shaft like this, and then you're gonna place your left hand, or if you're left-handed, you're gonna place your right hand on the top of the club, like this. Then, following that, you will come in with your right hand and place it so your the palm and meat of your thumb, underneath your thumb, will sit on top of your other thumb, and your bottom hand thumb will run right down the middle of the putter grip. Then, once we build a good grip, we can learn how to hold the putter correctly with our arms. So most of us will putt like this. Like if we go to mini golf, we don't want to putt like this necessarily. We want to take our hands and go like this out with the putter. Come inwards, tuck your elbows to your rib cage. And then with your stance, which is next, you'll get your feet shoulder width apart like I do here. And then you will put the Putter down just like this and bend over. When you go to putt, what you will do next is you're just rocking your shoulders like this, like a pendulum. So, as I hear, I have a ball right here. This is uh, task one. We're just learning how to putt, so we're going to start three, four feet away from a target. Um, obviously, we're at a golf course today, so we have a little bit more freedom. But if it we're in a gymnasium setting, we can use putting mat, we can use a yoga mat with just a mark, a little bit of a, like a coin or a marker to establish distance. So as I set up, I'm gonna grab the putter shaft here. I'm going to assume my grip. I'm gonna put my arms, tuck them into my chest, put the club down, get my feet just slightly above or more than shoulder width. And I'm gonna to try to put it right into the hole. So we'll do this for five or six reps from really, really close. And then you can move back to the end of your mat back here farther and do the same thing. Just like that. Um, it's not necessarily making every putt is going to be a big deal. Um, the percentages and stuff like that are not in your favor from farther, the farther you get back. So as I go into task number two, we're going to talk about a speed and line drill. So right here I'm probably about six, seven feet away from the hole. What I want to do is I want to take one of my golf balls and put it uh, about a foot, foot and a half past the hole. So what that is going to do is going to relate to my speed of my putt. So I do not want ball that I'm going to putt to go any farther than that ball past the hole. So as we just talked through, we wanted to get into our nice technique. And we're going to hit a couple putts. That one was pretty good. And we'll do another one. Just like that. And you'll do that five or six times and then we can just keep working on it, moving the distance around. And if we're actually at a golf course, we can move to a different hole or something like that to give you a different length, different slope, things of that nature.